Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick update video on my New World bindings for the Steam controller. So I've been playing New World a lot recently, the closed beta, um, which will be ending tomorrow I believe, or maybe the day after. It and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I've been playing it on the Steam controller. So I got a Steam controller about three or four days ago, and... I've just been wanting to get it working so that when I'm traveling, I'll be traveling uh, close to September, um, I'll be able to play New World when it releases while I'm traveling with my laptop. I'm just going to walk you all through um, the configurations that I've got. Um, they can all be found on the community page for New World. It's called the New World Ultimate Bindings uh, version 1. Yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing, obviously, is the trackpad, which it acts like a trackball. So there's friction. Um, when I swipe like this, for example, it will kind of go... I've got high friction on right now. You can adjust that if you want to um, and, and have a, a bit of friction or a lower friction, sorry. And the other thing is that it has edge control. So you'll notice here I'm hitting the edge of the um, pad and you'll see it's just continually spinning. So once you hit the edge, it will continue to go. That's nice when you're running and you don't want to have to swipe, 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 you know, um, which can be quite nice as well. And that's adjustable. You can change the settings on that too. So I should note it's possible to configure all of this. So the first thing actually I want to go over is my settings. So there were a few um, custom settings here or in my key bindings that you'll need to account for. The main thing will be the interact. So you'll notice here my weapon ability is E uh, and then my interact is F. So you'll have to switch these two around um, or you'll have to go into my configuration and switch them around in there, which might be a little bit of a pain to do that. So what I would do is just recommend just changing these two. So um, e becomes, uh, sorry, F becomes the interact and E becomes the weapon ability. Um, on the keyboard it's actually a lot nicer to use as well, so if you get used to that I think it's overall better anyway. Um, the other thing is the give up. Um, you want to change give up to F, so that, would, that was also uh, set to E as well, if I remember correctly. Um, and I think those are the only two things, uh, yeah. Um, the other thing you will you will want to do is um, come into the communications tab here and you'll want to turn on push to talk toggle mode um, so you can toggle the voice chat and you'll see why in a minute. Alright, so that's it for the settings. Next, we'll go over the main actions that you use throughout the game. So um, I have a radial menu um, set up on the left here. So you can see when I touch the trackpad on the left, it brings up the radial menu and I can scroll through it like this. And so we have all of our inventory, character, crouching, turning PvP on, fishing, um, setting up a camp. So I'll go into the inventory here real quick. So you can see I have um, an inventory set up so we can actually run our a separate U set of hotkeys for when we're in the UI. So as soon as the mouse appears, a different set of uh, hotkeys are set up, are configured. So you'll notice when I use the radial menu now, we get a set of different options. So we're getting salvage, uh, link item, repair, discard, and lock. So I can demonstrate that really quick. So let's say we want to salvage a bunch of items and we don't, we don't want to have to click them each individually. We can just turn that on and it turns on the salvage mode and we just have to click them now with our uh, left trigger. So left trigger acts like um, the left click on a mouse. Um, then we can confirm it with Y. So Y is confirm on the, when you're in the interface. So select Y, select Y, select, select Y. So yeah, we're salvaging all of that gear. The next one, uh, no, now we can turn it off. We just select it again and see it's toggled off now. Uh, next is locking, so we can lock items, same, same deal. So let's lock the blues. So we don't want to salvage the blues by mistake. Could be quite helpful when you're on a controller, you don't want to accidentally do it, so. Alright, so let's turn that off. Um, we can discard. So let's say we want to get rid of this item. Same deal, just click it. Uh, repairing, same deal, you get the idea. So let's just repair this, and Y to confirm. And yeah, so, and then, oh, and then linking into the chat. So um, you can link items into the chat. Now let's hope I don't get this bug that I had here before. In fact, I'm not going to do it there. I think there is one bug with the linking items, but uh, once once this releases, there will you'll be able to link items as well. I'm not going to do it for the sake of the tutorial for now. 
All right, so you'll notice I've, I've gotten a group invite here. It's just been sitting there. So let's let's have a look at how we can do that, and then we'll go into the menus a little bit more. But these kinds of actions are probably the ones that are the hardest ones to account for is like these weird key bindings you know you have to set up tons and tons of key bindings so that's where the menus come in really handy so there's another type of menu that works really well for these kinds of actions and it's a separate menu to the radial um, and so I'll show you here so if you hold down A it brings up this other menu right here this square menu which has all of our kind of social interactions and just kind of common group stuff I guess you'd call it so we have an accept and a decline. So I could decline this right now and it would it would hit F2 or I could accept it. And so let's go ahead and accept that. So now we're in a group. So there's a whole bunch of different ones, so I'll go through them. So we've got emotes. So we can activate emotes. We have um, toggling your voice. So we toggle that on. Testing, testing. Everyone can hear me doing a tutorial. Haha. <laughs> and then we can toggle it back off again. So that's where that setting and the communication is important to have it set to toggle otherwise it's just going to turn it on and then turn it off so yeah let's turn that off um, we have chat so if we want to chat so here comes my party member here I want to chat with them so let's bring that up here so now you can see we've got a um, keyboard so it automatically brings up a keyboard for you in the chat um, I notice my controller is covering it up but so let's let's say something here Hi. and then done and uh, I do have to change it to group as well. And then, okay, so now you'll notice there's no enter key here and there's no way to submit it. So the enter key um, is set to A. So A is enter. And I have my chat hidden, so there you go. I said hi. And they said hi too. So very cool. So the next one, so that's the chatting. The, the next one is the social interaction. So let's say we wanted to trade uh, I can come here and I can go so uh, social and that brings up the social menu so now let's hit trade and there we go we can trade items so let's here you go you can have this screen <laughs> that's very generous alright so um, oh uh, actually before we do this um, I'm gonna cancel this Let's do that again because I want to show uh, how we could add like a gold amount to this. So let's do a trade again. All right, so let's say I wanted to give them gold and right now I have no way of typing this in, right? So one thing that we can do now is we have the ability to open up the keyboard. Let's say I wanted to trade for this beautiful purple item here. I wanted to trade 100 gold. So I can hold down the select key or um, yeah I guess it's select key on most controllers and I just hold it down for about a second and it brings up the keyboard so now let's let's do this let's go back 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 and let's type in uh, 100 oh, okay we're gonna do 110 apparently seems like a fair trade oh we're getting carrots too and there you go you can see it's added it there and we can just hit confirm lock in trade so yeah, pretty complex stuff that we're doing, we're able to do just through the controller. It's actually pretty amazing. And I should point out that I don't have to touch the keyboard at all now with this keybinding setup. <laughs> so yeah, so I can emote back. There you go. So yeah, we don't have to ever touch the keyboard. So what else is there to go over? So I guess we can go over the combat stuff. So we've kind of gone over the UI and some of the social interactions and stuff like that. So let's do the combat. So how about you invite me to a door and I'll accept it. Okay, so let's accept. So now we're in a door. Okay, so um, don't attack me yet, but just give me a sec to explain some stuff. So to bring out your, or to change weapons, I should say, um, it's set up to Y. So Y will toggle between your weapons pretty easily. Um, and then the right bumper, uh, right bumper and left bumper, and the wing, uh, the bottom wing, is uh, the ability on the uh, left wing. So I can show you the left wing click. See, activating an ability. The the trigger, the left trigger, which symbolizes the left mouse click, is the attack swing, and then the block is the right trigger. So symbolizing the right toggle. So pretty straightforward. Um, oh, and then also 
dodging, so obviously you want to be able to dodge, it's pretty important for PvP, is, um, yeah, is pressing the joystick button down in whatever direction you're going. It's a pretty straightforward. Yeah, so that's pretty... Oh, well, let's cycle through my, all my abilities real quick. Alright, there you go. So, uh, that's... The combat's pretty str pretty straightforward. It's, it works really well. So, now you might be wondering, uh, just do some damage to me. Take me out. Well, Alright, so I'm getting wrecked in PvP right now. <laughs> Dodging all the abilities. <laughs> getting that healer damage. <laughs> Alright, so I'm taking damage. So now... Uh, it's important to be able to use your hotkeys, right? In PvP especially. Uh, not that you'd really want to be PvPing on a controller, but you know what I mean. Even for PvE. So, to quick use the uh, hotkey 3. So hotkey 3 is like my primary um, potion. So to quick use that, I've set it up so that the right wing, which is underneath the controller, when you double tap right wing, it will use the potion. Um, however, you might, be, you might want to eat food or use other hotkeys, right? So the way you would want to do that is using the right wing you hold the right wing down like I'm doing here uh, and then you can you get access to this radial here and then what you can do is if you release it like the other ones it's not going to do anything so you release it's not going to do anything um, I want to avoid accidentally using potions and things so with this one you do actually have to click so let's say I wanted to eat food on slot 6 so you'll see the title of it is hockey 6 there so let's click that in so you just click the trackpad and then it uses it. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's use this potion. There you go. So we can switch our weapons here, just demonstrate that. <laughs> I'm still not very good with the uh, controller, but... Some big damage. Big damage! So now if we wanted to forfeit the duel, so the forfeit item has come up there, so let's, I can forfeit the duel here just by going to climb. And then it comes up, do you want to surrender? No, we never surrender. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all of, all of the options are pretty much available. Oh, I didn't finish going through these two options here. Okay, so you'll notice here it's called the gyro camera. So gyro camera on, gyro camera off. If you turn this on, you'll see it says gyro support added. What this does is whenever I hold down the right trackpad, you'll notice I can actually just tilt the um, the gyro and you can see the gyro there on the screen moving. It's pretty cool. I don't use it a lot but it's cool to have that, that option there and then you can turn it off by going like this and see now it's not working. We have auto running so auto running you double tap B. Uh, another thing is let's say you're zoomed in like this so you, you don't want to be playing like this uh, you can you can zoom out or zoom back in by holding X and then using the joystick. So you can zoom using that. Oh, interacting, duh, the most important thing in the entire game, interacting. So the interact key is set to uh, B. So B is the interact, so you can, yeah, pretty straightforward. So it's crouch, so we can crouch using the radial menu as well. I don't really use crouch a lot, that's why I added it to the radial menu. I think it makes sense putting it there. Uh, we can go into our character stats here. We can do all of our attributes, things like that. Um, so another thing I should mention is that when you're in any kind of menu, so let's say, let's go back into the character menu, you can use B to go back. We have a map, so using the select key, you can bring up a map here. And obviously it's just like you would any other thing, you just hold down the mouse key, which is the left trigger, or the right trigger actually. And then you can zoom in and out using the joystick. So yeah, pretty neat. Um, you can use the joyce, uh, the joystick to scroll up and down in your inventory, or any kind of scrolling menu, you use the joystick to scroll on. The trackpad that you use to move your camera also acts as a jump when you press it in. So you just click it like that, and that'll jump for you. Start uh, brings up the menu. You can toggle it on and off. Um, start can also be used to get out of any other interface window. So it just acts like escape, basically. 
So let's let me just go into my settings real quick and just go through the, the UI control real quick and just make sure I covered everything. So you'll see here all of these buttons uh, act as a, the mouse when you're in the interface. So this only shows up, the UI controls will only activate when the mouse appears. If the mouse isn't there, it won't show up. Uh, it won't it won't change, sorry, to that one. So we have the radial menu. Um, oh, if you click this in, the joystick, what, when you're in any kind of menu, it will also act as a left click. Um, y is to confirm. X is, uh, oh, let's, oh, fishing. I didn't show fishing. All right. So you can do fishing. We don't want to exclude the fishing. It's like one of the best parts of the game. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> okay, it so that's... It is the best part of the game. <laughs> it is, is it? All right, so let's do fishing. So now we can attach bait. I'm not sure if I have any bait on me, but let's see. Um, so the R key when you're uh, obviously in this part is, is a hotkey. So it's I think it's a bottom grip, the grip button on the bottom left. Just click that. Okay, I don't have any bait, but that's fine. I'll show how it works. <laughs> All right, so now we can fish. I suck at fishing, so let's see how this goes. I always hit it too early when I'm on the controller. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we got it. There it is. We're doing it. Fishing on the controller is actually pretty relaxing. I enjoy it a lot. What do we get? Oh, a small perch. Very cool. I was watching you, so I missed my own fish. Uh, <laughs> and then we got a standing. All right, so we can grab our territory standing. What do we get? Let's do... I mean, if I was smart, I'd probably do this, but the thing's ending, so whatever. Okay. So that's fishing. Pretty straightforward. You can toggle the fishing off again by just going to the radial menu. Um, and now I guess the last thing, which is pretty important, is the campsite, right? So uh, let me come up here. And we'll put down a campsite, if we can. I don't know if we can do it around here, but... All right, so let's go to our radial menu, do camp, okay. Uneven terrain, all right, so it looks like we can do it right here. So we just do that, and we left click with the mouse, and now we have a really awkward camp. And let's do interact. And we can put it together. So yeah, pretty straightforward, very cool. Um, we can... Look, see how it says achievement unlocked F1 to claim reward. We can do accept and it will it'll bring that up so that acts as F1. And then decline acts as F2 if you want to get rid of the menu. So there it is. I hope that uh, covered everything. Um, if there's any bugs, obviously I'm going to have to work them out once uh, I start releasing and people start using it. Uh, but the beta will be ending in a day or so, and so. People probably won't be able to test this out yet until the, actu the game actually releases on the 31st, um, assuming it doesn't get pushed back. Uh, but yeah, look forward to everyone jamming it out on the controller and just relaxing. I like to use the controller just to chill out and run around and, I don't know, PV PVE and do some light PVE and gathering and all of that cool stuff. So yeah, hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask in the comments below and yeah, I, I'll be able to answer those hopefully for you. Alright, until next time, take care.